All right. Hello, everybody. This is DKG's Avos. I'm still eating Swedish fish. We're doing a Wonder Trade team today. I was gone for a week for Christmas break. I hope you guys had a good time over your Christmas. I hate Love Disc. It's such a downer on this team. Alright. So, Espeon should have the hidden ability. Which means that this isn't such a great Pokemon to have out. Hmm. So what we're going to do here. We're not going to go for any sort of status move. Because we don't want to bounce back on this. So what I'm going to go ahead and end up doing. Espeon is pretty fast, but it's not Crobat fast. It also got light screen up, which is really helpful. I'm assuming that it put up light screen first, just because it was going up against Love Disk and Love Disk is special attacker. Uh, the move set, the move pool that Love Disk has, really suggests that it should be a special attacker. It's not like anything crazy about Love Disk says, "Hey, by the way, I need to be a special attacker." So I stole the light clay away, wanted to get rid of that, so it's not going to be able to do anything. Crobat's out of here, but you know what? We got the light clay. So now Light Screen is going to have, what is it, six turns left? If he puts up Reflect, it's only going to be five turns each. So we're good there. Now with that, we should be able to do a decent amount of damage here. We are Dark Pokemon, so Extra Sensory won't do that much. We should be faster than Espeon 2. So, normally I wouldn't send in Greninja, but I want to clear this Espeon out. I don't want to send in Greninja permanently. I don't want him to just kind of sweep through teams. I just want him to take Espeon out and then duck out behind something else. So, we're scaring Espeon out. Our, our Greninja is, is definitely a, a late-game sweeper kind of thing. So, I don't want to keep him in, out, and around doing things unless I have to. Seeing his little damage... As Grenada did, I don't want to keep him out against Jolteon. Jolteon's pretty quick. I don't want to risk it. I really don't. He could have Pin Missile. And I have to keep that in mind. He could also go for some sort of stab. Oh, man. I just gotta roll with it. So if he has Pin Missile or Hidden Power Ice, we're kind of screwed. I'm sending out Sawsbuck because he's going to be able to resist a lot of different moves that Jolteon has, like Shadow Ball, really nice resistance there. So I'm kind of happy with that choice. And I know that Jolteon is faster, so if he's going to do some sort of damage, like with a Hidden Power Ice or something, then I'm going to be able to do get some of that energy back with Horn Leech. This was not a, pr a prediction of Politoed coming out because I wasn't paying enough attention to the team to see what was coming out. But it's nice that we're going to get some sort of stab on a Politoed. Politoed's one of those with Drizzle that you kind of want to get it out of the way because you want to get rid of his, his rain setup. Uh, Drizzle Pokemon are kind of few and kind of far between. Politoed's kind of it. It's kind of it. You don't see a whole lot of Drizzle Pokemon out there, so I'm going to go for Horn Leech one more time. It did so much damage last time, and if anything was able to outspeed me, um, if for some reason something happened, I don't know if he... It's weird, alright? I went for Horn Leech because it was doing more than half damage. That's all I did. Now, with Noivern out and about, he's going to have Draco Meteor available. Uh, he's also, he should have some sort of water move, like Scald, maybe? I don't know if Noivern gets Scald. Scald's not going to be super effective, but I really don't want to take a Draco Meteor straight to the face. I feel like that's just going to be a poor life choice. So, what I'm going to go for here is I'm going to switch in Love Disk. And just use it as a little bit of death fodder and scout things out. Love Disk, kind of worthless at this point. Yeah, he's going to be able to do something, but it looks like Hurricane was coming out. So I'm okay with sacrificing Love Disk to a Hurricane. 
Now, nice thing is, we've got a Focus Ash, so we're going to see if he's going to go for that kind of thing again. Love Disc is not going to outspeed any sort of Noivern, but you know what? We're going to get two turns off of this, so we're going to see what we can do. Love Disc does have Ice Beam, but against a Noivern at this point, it's not really going to do that much. You could get the, the Freeze Hacks, but I'd rather go for the Burn Hacks, trying to do something. And it looks like we might actually outspeed it. Is this a bulky Noivern? What? Love Disc just outsped a Noivern. What? Mind blown! I know that I maxed out the speed EVs in Love Disc, but there's no way that he should have outsped Noivern. That is not a thing. What? Alright, Malamar is going to come in here. Uh, he's got Rock Slide, he's got Foul Play, he's got Psycho Cut and Super Power. I'm going to go for some sort of Rock Slide. Noivern is a flying type Pokemon. He is flying Dragon, so we're going to be able to do something. Uh, Hurricane's going to hurt, but we do have the Assault Vest on Malamar, so he's going to be able to survive it. Looks like it's going to be a 3 co, but Noivern, uh, I think it's got to be bulky. Man, that's got to be bulky. There's no other explanation for that. Love Disc should never have outsped Noivern. That's so weird. Now, I normally don't like doubling up moves. I don't like doing them twice. But, in this instance, when you're up against a Pokemon that you've done half the damage to already, there's not a whole lot of reason to do otherwise. So, at this point... We've got Ampharos, which could go Mega on us. But there's not a whole lot that Malamar is really going to be able to do at this point. So I'm not going to keep him in. But I really want to. I really, really want to. Because I don't want to switch in Agron. Per, for example, I don't want to switch him in. Because he doesn't have a whole lot of special defense. And Mega Ampharos is just going to plow right through him. Although he does have Earthquake, uh, I feel like i got to stick around. We're going to go for Psycho Cut, try and do some neutral damage, try and get something done. It's Stab, it's neutral, Mega Ampharos is coming out, so I really just didn't want to take a, a neutral... I didn't want to take a neutral, like, Thunder. So, I'm going to try and burn this out. We've got the Assault Vest on Malamar. It m didn't survive, which is unfortunate. I was hoping it was going to survive with just a handful of HP, but unfortunately for us, that is not the case. Mega Ampharos, Dragon Pulse, Thunder. Biggest moves that it's going to have at its disposal. Um, Greninja. Greninja might be... Might be able to help. This is a dragon electric Pokemon. Electric dragon if you're doing it in correct order. We will be able to outspeed it with Greninja. Greninja's pretty fast. We've got Ice Beam. We're going to be able to do super effective stab damage with Protean. But I don't think it's going to be quite enough to take it out. It Oh, it is. <gasps> I was really thinking that we were going to... It was going to survive that. But thankfully, Greninja was able to do something. We got the rain to stop. So it looks like he did have Damp Rock on there. And the reason I say he had Damp Rock is because it lasted eight turns instead of the normal five. It lasted a little bit longer than you would normally expect out of that kind of thing. Now, Jolteon, we've seen Shadow Ball. Uh, we know that he should have some sort of an electric move. And I'd love to use something on him, but you know what? I'm going to go straight back into Sawsbuck, because Sawsbuck, unless he's going for Pin Missile, um, we should be able to resist most everything that Jolteon's thrown at us. The nice thing about Sawsbuck is that he's really a bulky attacker, and he's got two tails. I don't know if you guys noticed that before. I definitely didn't. Sawsbuck has two tails. Nicely done. Alright, so Noivern's coming out. 
Uh, Noivern makes this a little bit more difficult because he does have Flamethrower. We're not going to be able to resist that with him. Hmm. But because Love Disc was able to outspeed Noivern, if, if we've done a pretty safe prediction where I'm assuming there's a Flamethrower coming out of Noivern, because at this point I don't feel like he can afford to overpredict what I'm switching, I'm going to be able to survive with Greninja, keep him alive, and be able to go for something. Uh, I want to go for... I'm going to go for Ice Beam. I know I'm going to be able to outspeed this Noivern. I know that he's going to be able to switch out Noivern, but we're going to be able to do a decent chunk of stab damage on whatever comes in. Jolteon it is. Super cool. It's Life Orb Stab Ice Beam against the Jolteon. Jolteon isn't known for his crazy amounts of bulk here. Uh, we're going to be able to do something with it. Uh, looks like not quite enough. Unfortunate for us. Hmm. Now, Sawsbuck, I do have to look at his speed real quick. It's 115 base speed, and then we look at Love Disc at 148. So we're not going to be absolutely positive that we're going to outspeed anything. Um, but we did go for Ice Beam there. So I don't see a whole lot Jolteon's going to be able to do super effective against Greninja, but Jolteon is still pretty powerful. I just don't want to deal with it. So I'm going to take a neutral Volt Switch here, and I'm going to feel really bad about it. Feel super bad, super really awkwardly bad about taking a Volt Switch to Agron, because it is a special attacking move, and Jolteon takes a lot of damage. But I didn't want to take it on Sawsbuck again, and I didn't want... I really didn't want Noivern. Well, Noivern's still going to come out. And... No, no, Kingdra! Surprising! I expected Noivern, mostly because Noivern has Flamethrower, but it didn't come out. So we've got a Water Dragon coming out. Um, I've got Earthquake, I've got Brick Break, I've got Head Smash, I've got Heavy Slam. Heavy Slam is not going to do that much damage because it's a Dragon Water Pokemon. So I'm going to go for a Head Smash here, do some sort of neutral damage if I can survive, which odds are no. I mean, if he goes for a Dragon move, we might survive. If he goes for a Water move, we might survive. Surf is going to do some pretty good damage, and we don't survive. We don't. Kingdra's pretty good. It's Life Orb, too. Alright, that's good to know. Life Orb. Alright, so now we should be able to... We've scouted out the majority of his team. Kingdra's Life Orb, so he's taking a decent chunk of damage. Um, I want to keep Sawsbuck alive. I want to keep him alive as much as possible. I'm not going to be able to overpredict here. Um, I'm hoping that Sawsbuck can take anything from Kingdra. I'm hoping. He's bulky. He's got a lot of HP, but he doesn't survive. He was our best choice. Had Horn Leech. The Life Orb, too strong. It was either him or Greninja. Greninja wasn't a good idea. Like, Greninja would have been able to outspeed, but... With Scald, Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, and Extra Sensory, there was nothing that was going to be able to clear out Kingdra. So, if we couldn't clear out Kingdra on the first shot with Greninja, Sazbuck wasn't going to be able to do it if he couldn't do it before. So, unfortunately, this is GG. Because... Greninja is just dead. We might be able to clear out a couple more Pokemon. So, went for a little bit of neutral damage there. Uh, I didn't go for any Dragon Pulse. I didn't. It's just all we had. Dark Pulse was going to be able to clear it out. Greninja is going to take some Life Orb damage, even if <clears throat> Greninja was absolutely unobstructed. Even if we get the biggest flinch hacks in the world. Dark Pulse, flinch, 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 flinch. Greninja shouldn't be able to clear out the entire team just because he doesn't have enough HP and he's Life Orb. So this is the Battle of the Life Orbs here. Dark Pulse does have like a 10% chance of flinchy flinch. But it's not happening. I knew he wasn't going to be able to take out Kingdra. It's a little disappointing, but... Nicely done. GG. That was a good game. I had a good time. Disappointed that we couldn't get it down far enough to life orb that Kingdra to death. 
Nice. GG.